When you think of dinosaurs, one name almost always rises above the rest, Tyrannosaurus rex. The very sound of it strikes an ancient chord, power, domination, legacy. Rex means king for a reason. With bone-crushing jaws, a towering frame, and a presence immortalized by every museum, textbook, and movie screen, the T-Rex is the undisputed icon of prehistoric might. But here's the thing, was he truly unbeatable? We've heard the stories, seen the reconstructions, and maybe even rooted for him in cinematic battles. But from a scientific standpoint, a biomechanical, anatomical, evolutionary point of view? Was T-Rex really the ultimate apex predator? Or did another predator ever evolve that could take him down? Today, we're going beyond the legend, past fiction, and into hard science to uncover the truth. Because in the world of extinct giants, the line between king and challenger was often just one bite away. If we're going to ask whether another predator could defeat T-Rex, we first need to fully understand what made this animal so terrifyingly effective. Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't just big, it was built to kill with an efficiency unmatched by any land predator before or since. The largest individuals reached lengths of 40 to 43 feet, stood over 10 to 13 feet tall at the hips, and could weigh nearly 10 to 14 tons. Imagine a school bus wrapped in muscle, bone, and instinct. But it wasn't just about size. T-Rex had one of the most powerful bites in the history of life on Earth, estimated at over 60,000 newtons. To put that into perspective, a modern saltwater crocodile, the animal with the strongest bite alive today, reaches about 16,000 newtons. T-Rex didn't just grab its prey. It pulverized bone like dry twigs. Its jaw muscles were incredibly developed, anchored to a massive skull designed to absorb shocking impacts. Its teeth were thick, serrated banana-shaped blades, perfect not for slicing but for puncturing, crushing, and gripping. Still, many picture T-Rex as a slow, clumsy giant. That's simply not true. Its legs were long and powerful, and biomechanical modeling suggests it could accelerate surprisingly fast over short distances. Thanks to its massive tail, which acted as a counterbalance, it could pivot sharply to chase prey or deliver a deadly strike. Now let's talk about its senses. Vision, Binocular, forward-facing eyes gave it depth perception, a lethal tool for targeting moving prey. Smell, exceptional. Its olfactory bulbs were enormous, giving it one of the most advanced senses of smell in the animal kingdom. Hearing, acute. It could detect low-frequency sounds, perfect for tracking the movements of large, distant animals. And for all the jokes about its tiny arms, Here's the truth. T-Rex's arms were short, yes, but extremely strong. With thick claws and massive muscle attachments, each arm may have supported over 400 pounds, more than enough to tear into flesh at close range if needed. This animal wasn't an accident. It was the final result of millions of years of refinement, an apex predator shaped not by chance, but by every successful hunt its ancestors ever made. Now that we understand the kind of monster that ruled the land, let's open the gates and bring in the challengers. To test the unshakable crown of the T-Rex, we're entering the realm of imagination, but guided entirely by scientific evidence. Picture this, a neutral battleground, flat and open, with no environmental advantage, no rivers to escape into, no forests to hide behind, just two giants meeting under the same conditions, Anatomy versus anatomy, instinct versus instinct. We'll examine other colossal theropods, ones that rivaled the T-Rex in size, strength, or strategy, and pit them head-to-head -head in a series of theoretical matchups. We're not talking about Hollywood fantasy or CGI battles. These fights are based on fossil records, muscle reconstructions, bite force estimates, and locomotion modeling. Some of these contenders were long forgotten. Others have already starred on the big screen, but none have ever truly faced the king until now. If there's one theropod that seems like it could give T-Rex a run for its money in sheer spectacle, it's Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. A huge spinosaurid weighing 8.8 .8 tons, longer than a T-Rex, in some estimates up to 50 feet 2.6 meters tall at the hip, and boasting an enormous sail-like structure along its spine, Spinosaurus has become a fan-favorite rival, thanks largely to pop culture. But let's leave the movies behind and look at the facts. Yes, it may have been the longest known carnivorous dinosaur, but that length came at a price. Its frame was narrow, light, and adapted primarily for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Its hind limbs were relatively short, and its center of gravity was likely unstable on dry land. Its jaws were long and narrow, more similar to a crocodile's than a tyrant lizard's, built to catch slippery fish not crush bone. Its iconic dorsal sail, visually stunning but also vulnerable, a liability in combat. Could it do damage? 
Absolutely, its long forearms and curved claws could land serious slashes. But if T-Rex closed the distance, delivered a single crushing bite to the neck or torso, it would likely be over. Estimated win rate for T-Rex, 75%. If any dinosaur looked like the evil twin of T-Rex, it would be Tarbosaurus batar. Discovered in Mongolia, this late Cretaceous predator shares a striking family resemblance with T-Rex, and for good reason. Both belong to the same lineage of Tyrannosaurids. At about 33 to 40 feet long, 3 to 3.5 meters tall, and weighing between 5 and 7.5 tons, Tarbosaurus was smaller and lighter than T-Rex, but built with a similar design. Powerful jaws, forward-facing eyes, and a bone-crushing bite. But it wasn't exactly the same monster. Its skull was narrower and more elongated, which may have reduced its bite force compared to its North American cousin. Its arms were even smaller than those of T-Rex, practically useless in combat. While T-Rex battled Triceratops and heavily armored giants, Tarbosaurus hunted less protected hadrosaurs, rarely facing anything capable of striking back with equal aggression. In a direct confrontation, Tarbosaurus might try to rely on superior agility or speed, but against T-Rex's overwhelming size and power, that simply wouldn't be enough. Estimated T-Rex win rate, over 80%. Now we enter the realm of true giants and true danger. Carcharodontosaurus saharicus, named after the great white shark for the shape of its teeth, wasn't just massive, it was a nightmare carved from flesh and bone. Roughly 43 feet long, 12 feet tall, and weighing around 8 tons, this North African predator was built for imposing presence, but its strategy in a fight? Sheer blood loss. Unlike T-Rex's bone-smashing bite, Carcharodontosaurus had long, blade-like teeth designed to slice, not crush. Its attack style was to inflict deep wounds, then back off and let shock, blood loss, and time do the damage. Against sauropods, it was brutally effective. But against a predator like T-Rex, things get complicated. Carcharodontosaurus had size on its side and powerful jaws, but research suggests its skull wasn't designed to absorb high-impact bites the way T-Rex's was. Its build was less compact, and its center of gravity higher making it somewhat less stable in a close-quarters brawl. In a long fight, its slicing attack might wear the T-Rex down, but if the Rex landed one decisive crushing bite to the head or neck, the story changes entirely. This is the first serious test. T-Rex estimated victory rate, 65%. Before the reign of T-Rex, another giant stalked what is now North America, Acrocanthosaurus atokensis, measuring about 38 feet long, 11.5 feet tall, and weighing around 8.4 tons, this predator lived tens of millions of years before T. rex, but had its own brand of prehistoric menace. Its most distinctive feature? A series of tall neural spines running down its neck and back, likely anchored to massive muscles. This muscular ridge may have helped Acrocanthosaurus take down large sauropods, using brute strength to topple and pin its prey. Its arms were large and powerful, a rarity among big theropods, and its jaws were lined with serrated teeth, perfect for tearing flesh. So what's the catch? Deadly as it was, Acrocanthosaurus lacked the skull density and bite force of T-Rex. Its design favored grabbing and slashing, not crushing bones in a single bite. In a direct confrontation, once T-Rex closed the distance, the older predator's longer neck and leaner build would become serious weaknesses. It would be a battle of power versus agility, and power had evolved to be faster, sharper, and deadlier in T-Rex. Estimated win rate for the king, 70%. Finally, we face the true challenger. If any theropod ever had a real chance to defeat T-Rex, this would be the one. Giganotosaurus carolinii, native to South America and belonging to the Carcharodontosauridae family, this predator was absolutely colossal, measuring 43 feet long, 12.5 feet tall, and weighing around 9 tons. It was longer than T-Rex, possibly a bit taller, and it didn't rely on bone-crushing strength. Instead, it played a different game, speed, reach, and slicing power. Its teeth, like butcher knives, were made to rip flesh and cause massive blood loss. In theory, it could strike, retreat, and repeat, death by a thousand cuts. But when we compare them, Giganotosaurus and T. rex, key differences emerge. T. rex had a shorter, deeper skull built to withstand immense force. Giganotosaurus had a longer, narrower head, better for cutting, but less protected in close combat. The American tyrant was also more compact, with a lower center of gravity, making it harder to knock down and easier to stabilize during a fight. In a hit-and-run battle, Giganotosaurus might take the early advantage, but in a head-on brawl, the odds shift quickly. 
A single bone-crushing bite to a vulnerable spot, the neck, the jaw, even the skull, could end it all. This would be the toughest fight of all, bloody, brutal, and evenly matched. But based on what science tells us, T-Rex would still come out slightly on top. Estimated win rate, 62%, enough to keep the crown, but not without bleeding for it. So after putting the greatest predators of all time into the arena, what did we learn? Each dinosaur we analyzed had its own deadly signature. Spinosaurus dominated the water elongated, adaptive, and specialized for aquatic ambush, but on land it simply couldn't match up. Tarbosaurus, the Rex's cousin, mirrored its design, but lacked the raw force and skull-crushing power. Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus brought terrifying size and slicing precision, but couldn't withstand a direct engagement with T. rex's compact brutality. Even Acrocanthosaurus, with its brute strength and primitive power, lacked the refined mechanics to hold its own in the final moments. And that's the key, the refinement. T-Rex wasn't just bigger or meaner or louder. It was the end product of evolutionary engineering, a hyper-optimized skull that could absorb and deliver insane amounts of force, a bite designed to end a life in one clamp, sensory systems that rival modern apex predators, a skeleton built not for one kind of terrain or prey, but for domination across the board it didn't specialize like other theropods. It adapted for everything. Bone-breaking, flesh-tearing, fast-closing, kill-confirming perfection. This is why, even when faced with worthy challengers, the T-Rex stands tall, deadlier than its cousins, smarter than its ancestors, more efficient than its rivals. The king earned his crown. And as of today, scientifically speaking, no predator we know of could consistently take it away. But what about you? After everything you've heard, the bite forces, the tactics, the matchups, do you still think someone could beat the T-Rex? Was there a contender we missed? Maybe a lesser known beast lurking in the fossil record that could have changed everything? Tell us, who is your champion? The slicing jaws of Giganotosaurus? The aquatic ambush of Spinosaurus? Or do you believe the reign of the Tyrant King is still fully deserved? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're reading them all. And if you enjoyed this prehistoric showdown, hit that like button to let the algorithm know you want more. Subscribe so you don't miss the next battle because we're just getting started. From titanic terrestrial wars, to aerial ambushes, to oceanic monsters, We've got a whole world of ancient confrontations to explore. After all, the age of dinosaurs was filled with predators, but there was only one king. And the legend of Tyrannosaurus Rex? It's not just hype, it's science.